begin with John Engler under fire. There are growing calls for him to resign as MSU's interim president. The pressure is mounting and revelations that Engler criticized survivors of Larry Nassar in a private email. And we want to know, do you think John Engler should step down? Go to our website, WXYZ.com slash vote and let us know. Our coverage begins with 7 investigator Jim Kurtzner live at Michigan State where he's been talking with trustees and the Nasser survivor at the center of all this. Jim. Dave, the trustees meeting next one is a week from Friday. I can tell you they've been talking behind the scenes because Engler has not apologized. Two trustees going public today calling for that resignation, including Diane Byram. He's the wrong leader for Michigan State University. He needs to step down and resign. That he needs to resign immediately. He lacks empathy. He lacks the tone needed for a university president. John Engler was hired to heal Michigan State in the wake of university doctor Larry Nasser pleading guilty to sexually assaulting hundreds. Engler's first missed step, he was offering victim Kaylee Lawrence a cash settlement in private. That was before the university reached a global settlement with all known victims for a half billion dollars. Now a private email obtained by the Chronicle of Higher Education shows Engler said Rachel Den Hollander was likely to get a kickback from her attorney for her role in the manipulation of survivors. I think Engler has made it very clear that he is not capable of leading MSU out of this crisis. To characterize uh, not just myself as manipulating for money, but to characterize all of these other women as pawns, as being too stupid to know that they're manipulated, is a gross mischaracterization of sexual assault survivors that is going to set the tone on campus. His comments regarding Rachel Dunhollander uh, are, are uh, unconscionable. He is not fit to lead Michigan State. In a statement today, Engler is not apologetic. I continue to look ahead. Whatever the tensions were before, we have successfully negotiated a settlement agreement, something that is fair and equitable to both sides and that both sides agreed to. I'm looking forward to the Board of Trustee meeting next week, where we will continue our progress and efforts to move forward. I believe actions matter, and that is how the success of our work will be determined. Do you regret voting to hire him? We have to focus on today and the future. So a lot can happen between now and the next meeting on Friday. I did reach out to other trustees, and they are not commenting. Live in East Lansing, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. More to come on this, Jim. Thank you for sure.